Iris Tang. I'm an artist based in Southern California here. I'm restarting my artist journey in my 30s. Um, so YouTube is where I love to share like all my fails and all my wins. Today I'm sharing with you something that I consider a win. Um, it's my sketchbook. I have lots of completed sketchbooks that I've completed before this one, but I'm particularly proud of this one. I had so much fun. I really tried to adopt Fran Nerd's like concept of an ugly sketchbook and being just like, no one's gonna see it. It's my sketchbook. It's where I explore. It's where I learn. It's where I try new things. It's where I try things other people have tried. It's where I make things that are ugly that I don't like. Um, and it's been really great. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is the flat lay. Yep. And this is my sketchbook. Um, I use the Crescent Render sketchbook just like everyone else. Learned about it from Fran. Love it. Haven't gone on to another sketchbook. Probably never will. Um, I'm also using the Pentel 0.25 Sleet Cheap Pen. Love it. Also learned about it from Fran Nerd. And then um, I use Sharpie which I've been coloring with Sharpie for decades. Um, Fran also uses Sharpie in her sketchbook. So that is a nice commonality that we share. Um, that's usually where the commonality ends because Fran is much more skilled than I am. <laughs> I'm gonna throw all of the artists who are responsible for the stickers on my sketchbook cover up now. And then I also want to make a caveat before we dive in. I do copy some of Fran's work. I copy some of Lee's work. I copy, I think, Cheyenne, Studio Maggie, Mel. Keep in mind, I'm saying copy, but the actual term is I'm doing studies. And when I do do studies, I either put their name at the bottom, I put a little star. It says like, this is all Lee's work. This is all Mel's work. Or I'll put like an ampersand, or sometimes I'll just put dupe. I'm not as routine in, in writing down and how I write down who I'm taking references from in my studies, but I always do write down that they are copies, they are dupes, they are studies, they are references. That way I make sure that if they creep my, their way into my work, I know where they came from and I can make the proper decision on not using them and passing them off as my own. There are quite a few. I'm a pretty new artist in terms of drawing, so warning. <laughs> and um, yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna jump in. That being said, most of the art in my sketchbook that's not starred or referenced as someone else's is my own artwork. Please don't steal from it. Please don't copy things that you see in my sketchbook. And yeah, let's get started. This is the first page. So this is the first page, always the most terrifying page. So I always keep it real light and easy, draw things in my house, test out my pens. Um, <laughs> I've also made an attempt to draw my cat, and as you can see, I was disgusted by it. <laughs> um, it gets a little easier as you go on though. I tend to pull a lot from uh, Instagram or Pinterest. A lot of these are referenced from Instagram ads. I get targeted a lot for things, so that's what you're seeing here. Here um, I'm doing a lot of things, drawing more of what's on my desk, what's in my feed. Um, up top I'm trying to like test out a little comic idea I have that I actually did post on Instagram. Um, yeah, I've been, I was watching Made on Netflix at this time, <laughs> so I drew some of that. Um, as always, really inspired by Lee. This is the first time that I had ever used the Bravo pen that she recommended, and oh my god. I can see why she love it, loves it. It suits her style so much. Here I'm just, um, I got some new Copics, so I'm testing out like different shading on shapes and how I can bring more dimension to my illustrations. I also got some new pens that day. Um, and then I was walking around my neighborhood and I saw this funny little golf cart that I wanted to draw. And for some reason, after I was finished sketching it, I didn't want to stop there. So I was like, this needs to be painted. So I <laughs> went ahead and put some gouache 
on the paper. Um, this sketchbook takes it really nicely. I love how it turned out. I'm not usually a purple or a pink and purple, f or, sorry, ugh, pink and green fan. <laughs> um, but I, I kind of like the different tones that I got with this one. So this next page, I'm clearly watching more made. It was a really reflective watch, but I really enjoyed it. It, it really hit a sensitive bone in my body. It was very good. I also um, was just having fun drawing like flowers and coffee and ducks <laughs> apparently on this spread. There's a couple little mugs. Um, I really love this pot of tulips. Thought it was fun. And um, I also started my period, it appears. So I was just reminding myself to take a break because <laughs> periods are rough, <laughs> especially the first day. This next day, I was really trying to push myself and to go out and draw in my sketchbook. Um, so for those of you in the LA area, if you've ever been to Burbank, you may recognize a lot of the things on the left side of the page. Um, and then I also have this little maintenance phase inspired apple and pear in the lower left corner, which was really fun to draw. Um, and then on the right page, I was just, you know, doing a lot of um, online classes, Skillshare, drawing Fran and faces. Um, the faces kind of continued onto this page and you can see I was really into my Sharpie on these spreads. Um, I've got a couple of really fun dupes here that I love, like from Gemma and Studio Maggie, um, an old piece of Franz. Really just trying to figure out like how other artists proportion out their characters' bodies um, and trying to figure out what proportions I like on my bodies. I tend to appreciate this was a really great practice because I realized that I tend to be drawn more to smaller proportions, um, body types and character design, which kind of plays into the whole like cutesy chibli factor. Um, so that was fun to kind of learn about myself. And on this next page, I'm doing a lot of Instagram drawing again. I saw this really cute credenza, so I drew it. <laughs> um, also drawing like plants, listening to a lot of maintenance phase. So there's some maintenance phase quotes like leave fat people alone, leave Lizzo alone. Um, and then the following day I went to a wedding. So that's my husband and I. Um, <laughs> I wrote that we tried to look fancy. Uh, we're not really like dressy people, so I was pretty proud of this. Um, and then, you know, just going through the motions of, you know, making matcha, looking at plants, um, and just having like a good time. Which isn't something I'm always able to do in my sketchbook, but I'm pretty proud of this page that I'm just having fun, you know, keeping it loose. So on this next page, um, <laughs> I'm, I don't know where I saw that keyboard. I know I've been wanting a keyboard. I've been wanting to learn piano for the longest time. Um, I was also planning my husband's anniversary gift this year, which was that multi-tool up in the top left corner. And then I was just drawing some street fashion that I saw on Instagram. Um, you can see also I'm really excited because I just purchased my first Big Bud press coverall set, which is very comfy. I get the hype. Um, it looks really good on me. <laughs> and on this next page, doing some more Skillshare learning on like shapes and the language of them. Um, okay, so this Saturday page is heavily inspired by Cheyenne. I wrote it down there in the corner. Not only like with the drawings that I did, but the green, she uses like this really bright chartreuse lime green in her work in really beautiful ways that I appreciate. Um, I'm also 
looking at just like different types of bottles that I saw while shopping on Sunday. Product design is so much fun. I love that too. And then you know you've got your Instagram stuff at the bottom. <laughs> oh, these days are real fun. So Monday, I, <laughs> this Monday up top, I actually had to go get a root canal for the first time, which was terrifying, but it was really nice to sit outside and just draw out and around in Glendale. Um, and then on Wednesday, I did a Patreon live drawing with Emma Carlisle's Patreon group. So fun. Got lots of fun things out of it, like this lantern, this boat. I never would have sat down and drawn a boat before, but I had the best time. Um, got some new Prismacolors. I saw everything everywhere all at once. So good. <laughs> Um, we also went to get Hot Pot and Boiling Point, and I was trying out some like new character design for how I felt. It didn't really communicate well on the page, but I tried. Um, the next day, you know, drawing more things from life, converses, soot sprites, plants, snakes, <laughs> flowers. Um, this, this snake and these flowers are an idea I was trying to think of or a tattoo, but I didn't ultimately land on anything that I liked. Um, and then, you know, list making, trying to learn from, uh, Shan or Furry Little Peach and just like what her process is and how she approaches illustration. I love her YouTube videos for that. She's really great at breaking things down. Um, I also bought my Mac on this day, which I was really excited about, and then it was going to take like a month to come in. And then, um, <laughs> this day, I think my mom and brother were visiting and they kept buying this bread that was like zero carbs, zero sugar, and I was like, oh, so it's zero fun bread. And then I was like, life's too short to eat bad bread. I had a lot of fun with that. I don't think I'll ever use it anywhere. I don't think it's a cute drawing, but I love the idea of it. Um, I was also playing lots of Animal Crossing, trying to practice profiles again, not really satisfied with what I was coming up with, um, and then just drawing everything from the day on Friday. Sunday, more Animal Crossing, lots of flowers, um, trying to play around with line weight and how I like to emphasize detail and non-detail, <laughs> like the parts that are more prominent of a piece. Um, oh, and there's Catnip. I love her little self-portrait logo. So cute. And then the next day was Monday. You can see it there in the top right. This was the day after I found out that Kenny and I were pregnant. I was really excited. Um, we went and got Chinese food for Mother's Day and just more flowers and boba, because why not? It's my sketchbook. <laughs> um, and then the following day, I really went down a Tommy DePola rabbit hole. Everything here is Tommy. Um, then at the end of May, Kenny and I went to Seattle actually for our first year anniversary of being married. So that was really fun. I didn't draw much from our trip, but I had such a good time. Pied off. I'm clearly watching a lot of Love Island <laughs> on this page. Um, I had baby on the brain, so I was thinking about like cribs and bookshelves, um, mobiles, cat toys. <laughs> And then the following day, I was just doing a lot more Instagram drawing. There's like a setup from someone's um, desk and then someone in a bookstore. Lamps. Lamps are always fun. And colanders. Um, clearly, I was doing laundry this day because I was drawing a cat in a laundry basket, which always happens. Um, and then on the following page, I'm drawing a lot from Julie Hoots. Love her style. It's Her characters are so so funny. Um, this is one of Fran, and hers are real soft, but Julie draws characters so pointedly and sharply in a way that you don't really see on, like, Artstagram. So I think, I think her illustration style is fun. It leans more towards, like, New Yorker, I think, like this piece. Um, 
and then you know just drawing what I was eating every day I think this was a little psychosomatic knowing that I was pregnant um, I was just like always hungry always hungry I was eating so much um, and then I was just doing some graphite testing on this page which was fun um, and then here, clearly more baby on the brain, but this was actually part of a class I was taking with Lindsay Sterling, um, which was a lot of fun. And then the next day I'm just drawing like cats and trying to figure out cat proportions. Um, I thought it was funny to do a smart car with monster truck wheels. My husband always used to talk about putting our fit on monster truck wheels. <laughs> testing more pens um, oh and this was another Lindsay Sterling class I took that was so much fun it was like specifically sketchbook prompts for your sketchbook so I did Morro Bay uh, my husband and I took a trip there a few years ago for my birthday and it was just I had the best time it's so beautiful there um, this next day honestly like you can tell I wasn't more into sketching I was thinking things through and trying to take notes from classes and like just wrap my head logistically around what I'm doing um, and then the next page is really fun it's just like a collection of different perfume bottles um, some from real life, some imagined. Oh, smell. I love smell so much. Mel is fantastic. Small Art is one of my favorite accounts. As you can see from my intro, I'm wearing one of her sweatshirts. Love her. Um, and then the next day, just kind of like drawing what I see. This page is more Cheyenne studies. I really love the whimsy of her humans and how they pop off the page. Um, I think it's funny whenever I do a study of hers, it clearly looks like I'm trying to do a study of Cheyenne and I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it can be face shape because like when I tried typical face shape, like traditional classical face shape. It doesn't really look like hers. Um, and I think it might be proportions and definitely the noodle, noodle, noodle arms. So yeah, this was a fun page. Um, oh, and this is really when I started to play around. I love apple cheeks use of color. And so I was like, I want to use color. So I did color and then I did black and white. Um, oh, and then here's another day. I actually did a lot of drawing outside in the sketchbook, which is very atypical for me. But this first page is from a day at um, Conservatory Coffee, one of my favorite coffee shops in LA. I always have so much fun. Um, they have like fun interior design and it's not as sterile as other coffee shops where it's like all white and black and brown. Like they actually throw color. Pink is their main color at Convis Conservatory Coffee, which I really like. And then um, here's another page. I didn't feel like finishing this page. I was just having like an existential day. Like you can see down there, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> I'm still not sure of that answer. The next day I was determined to draw more though. So I drew things on my desk, things I want to learn, um, song lyrics that were stuck in my head. It was a really good spread. Um, oh, and then this this is when we went to the aquarium at Long Beach. I'm trying to draw my husband. This is the most unflattering picture of him ever. Um, the picture of my husband did turn out great, but my father-in-law looks pretty cool at the bottom. And then these are just some fishes I saw. I was really into the garden eels. I really like the seaweed. Um, trying to draw the garden eels again and like think about what a composition would look like. I did a really fun video previously on like a paint with me that you can look here. And this is the last page. Just drawing more from life. Um, trying to figure out faces. Whenever I draw humans, they always look like gorillas. So clearly I'm 
doing something wrong. So that was my sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is the first sketchbook tour that I've ever posted on YouTube, so please be kind. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification button and be the first notified whenever I post a new video. I'm trying to post more regularly, um, almost two times a week now. So we'll see how I succeed there or fail. Um, and then if you like this video, go ahead and hit that little like, the little, the little thumb, because you like it and you give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, cool. I'm gonna go finish my coffee and um, I don't know, I may take the rest of the day off. It's Friday and it's 1040. Go to the beach or something. Who knows? Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!